Hi my crafty friends, it's Ali from Ali Scraps. Today I'm showing you some of our Isabella range and this layout from close to my heart. Starting with some cardstock to give me some positioning for my photos and my title. So using the groove of the clear block I'm going to line that up and get ready to stamp. Now I do apologize for the rocky table. I'm using a little camping table at my daughter's because I returned from interstate and had to quarantine. So this little table is all I have. Luckily I had some craft products brought up. One of the little stamps fell off so I'm just aligning that and now I'm going to stamp up with the Bluebird ink and practice that before I stamp it on my project. I'm using some papers from the Isabella range and some coordinating cardstock to create that border at the bottom that you can see. Just cleaning off any little bits of ink there before I stamp down and off my fingers. I've got a little bit on my fingers. And now working out a position for my stamped leaves, my lemon and also my gardenias. So you can see I'm going to stamp that with the mink ink. And then I'm going to be using the Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend Markers in Citrus. Now these beautiful stamps have an outline on them already and, sh and, and uh, markings for shadows. I've gone ahead and cut the flower and this little one off camera and you can see me colouring around the outer edges and following the veins and also the shadowy pieces that are already in the stamp itself. And I go ahead and do that but then I decide to colour the whole flower and the whole uh, lemon I think in with the light and the medium no just the flower and then I'll come back and do the leaves and buds later you can see those colors now I'm going to pop that flower and lemon up with the foam tape and using my non-stick scissors from close to my heart of course because I don't want any any of the tape sticking to my scissors now again using my non-stick scissors I'm going to position the Bluebell Glitter Gems. These are going to be retired at the end of August so be sure to get your hands on any of the Bluebell range of uh, Colour of the Year items before the end of August and these scissors are, are so great for positioning your gems. And Sometimes sitting down at this angle you can't actually see if they are aligned properly and I realised that that last one I put down needs to be moved over a little bit and once in place I can push that down. Happy, happy. Heritage photos is what I am going to put on this page. So just showing you how that page is going to end up. Now starting on the right hand page I'm going to stamp a little bit of the you can see the Isabella stamp set there. I'm going to do the little corner ones here, which a little, look a little bit like um, like olive vines or tree branches. Popping those in the corners with the Bluebell ink, sorry, the Bluebird ink, the bright blue ink, which does look a bit like Bluebell on this yellow cardstock. That's how my page is going to look on the right. I'm going to put these stamps here just using those photos as a guide. Sorry about the wobbly camera again. Just using those photos there and seeing how much of that stamp is going to show. So this is the gardenia flower and lemon again. Coming in with the citrus ink, uh, sorry, the spectrum noir markers again to colour in the veins and the shadowy areas. But as I said, I, I do go ahead and put more colour on there. I am going to use flip flaps on these pages because I have more photos there you can see it that's how I'm going to have those looking it's my great grandmother and my great grandfather chopping wood underneath and they're beautiful photos of the family when she was young thank you very much for watching today I hope you've learnt something by looking at my process video and you come back again. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Ali Scraps. Thanks for watching.